Hello, I'm Kim Sauer at CES in Las Vegas. I'm joined today by Tom Snyder. Um, Tom works with universities and producers and manufacturers to come up with the next level of um, wearable technology. So give us a little bit of background, Tom, on to uh, what your game, uh, goals are, what you do. Certainly. So at the Assist Center, what we're trying to do is uh, a number of things. One is take the battery out of the electronics. If we want to do vigilant health monitoring, for example, you can't ask someone to take a device off and charge the battery. You lose data for a while. Uh, it creates a hassle. Uh, so, so we want to develop very, very low power devices where the human body is the power supply. Mm -hmm. There's obviously a lot of wearables and a lot of hype around wearables, a lot of um, you know, health care applications uh, that we see here at the show. Sure. Now, they're still using, probably in your eyes, outdated um, technology. So how are you going about finding that, that new self-powered or, or longer life um, technology? And how are you integrating it into you know, the, the materials that are certainly required for this type of application? Certainly. So. Uh, at the starting point, what we do is we engage with industry and understand from them what are the right problem statements, what are the right challenges that are appropriate for University Research Lab. And what we found is the power issue. A lot of that can be solved through uh, utilization of nanotechnology, where you can take the sensors that you want for doing the health monitoring, bring them down to a nano scale, and get to very, very low power levels, such that then you can use things like thermoelectric materials or piezoelectric materials to harvest the heat and the motion of the body, generate enough power to drive those sensors, and create ultimately a self-powered system. Mm -hmm. And is this a research center that's centralized in one particular university, or is it a network of universities and, and partners that you're working with? So it's a group of universities. We're primarily sponsored by the National Science Foundation, and the effort is headquartered at NC State University. But we're working then with about a half a dozen other universities in the, univer uh, in the country in partnership, uh, and then with, right now, about 25 industry partners as well. Mm -hmm. And how do you go about choosing your industry partners? Well, to some degree, they choose us. We have certain areas where we want expertise. We want companies that can give a voice into our center. And so the companies that partner with us sit on an advisory board to help us decide how should we spend the federally provided research money. And we have uh, folks in consumer products, in this wearables industry, we work with hospital systems, but we also work with companies that maybe want to take these technologies in totally different directions as well. Okay, so a lot of research that's going on, a lot of, um, I'm, I'm sure, thinking going on. Thank you very much for taking the time, um, and good luck. I'd be interested to follow that progress and see your technology and your, your results in the next wearables that we see at CES 2016. 16, that's yeah. right. Well, Thanks, thank Tom. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you.